both will be carrying 16 ounce gloves and I'm surprised that uh, Cliff Tillis did not put his shirt on. Well, Tyson's dressed in his customary black, as usual, has no socks on, just the black boxing shoes. And this will be a four-rounder. Now you can notice right now the way Tyson wastes no time. You know, somebody said the 16-ounce glove can you hit somebody, can you knock them out? Yes, I've seen it done. Of course, with headgear, it'd be very difficult to do that, but uh, well, that's man. not the intent tonight anyway. People want to see Mike Tyson in action, and they're probably going to get the full four rounds. Well, Dan, what you're looking at right now, they're not clowning around just for the benefit of the fans here. They're not showing them, well, here we are, we'll take it easy. They're out there winging. I think uh, any time Mike Tyson steps underneath those ropes, he's out there for business. I don't know if he's around very much very often in the ring. Dan, you're right, he's doing it right now. Tyson in black, Torres there on the right. First round action. You know, uh, Tillis is saying this is where it all started for me. I want to make a big hit. I want to come back to Chicago as a headliner again. For a while, he was going great times. Oh, he really was. It knocked out virtually everyone wow. he fought and was undefeated when Mike Weaver beat him back in 81 out of the world right. Mount Horizon. Tyson is just warming up a little bit, you see, and uh, it really does not, does not, I, I emphasize that, try to hurt Cook Tillis. If he were my sparring partner, I don't think I'd want to hurt him either, you know, it, no. can't, it can't be easy to find guys that want to step in the That's ring and right. practice with Mike Tyson. Well, then you know that he's got a fight coming up, he, Tyson, with former heavyweight champion Larry Hall. Oh, look at that, pretty good combination there by Tyson. Yeah. We have watched several preliminary fights, Ben, you and I tonight. Uh, some smaller guys who are very quick, and, you know, it's almost incredible that Mike Tyson, who outweighs some of those people by 80 pounds, is just as quick, if not quicker, than they are. I'm glad you noticed that. i tell you what uh, Tyson has done. He slowed Quick Tillis down a little bit. See, they're not playing around. This is not the... Uh, let's play twinkle toes. Doug one to the body and then right back up to the jaw did Tyson. And you look through the crowd and you watch all the folks. Nobody's eyes are turned away from this. This is the first time that they've seen the Mike Tyson. And boy, they are eating it up. down to the end of the first round. Again, this is scheduled for four. An exhibition, there'll be no decision at the end. There's one. Yeah, well, you know, as you look at him, Dan, I feel that as great as he is, Tyson, he needs a lot of work. He certainly needs a lot of work yet. Well, you've been around boxing for years and years, and you saw some of the greatest heavyweights in history come through Chicago. Right. right like Marciano and the like. fought here in Chicago. How would, uh, in your opinion, this guy compare to some of those people? Well, I'll be very honest with you. I still think, he, uh, as, as I said earlier, he needs a lot of work. I don't think he would have fared well with a Joe Lewis. I don't think uh, a Mark that he, the Marciano would have had trouble with him. Uh, he's got, he's, he's still got a long ways to go. Good fighter, real, real good fighter. Again, I say nobody around to challenge him, but I think that uh, some of the other fighters that I had seen, the great heavyweights, uh, he needs a lot of work yet. Well, we'll keep in mind that he's only 21 years old and fighting in an era in which there aren't that many great heavyweights to, to go up against. I it's tough to learn when you're 21 and there's nobody out there to fight. I keep telling you, Dan, that there's nobody around that could get the crowd excited. In other words, if you were talking, you say, well, well, after he fights so and so, you know who I'd like to see him fight? I'd like to see him fight this fella or that fella. <laughs> but there's nobody around. Well, he's got Larry Holmes coming up in January. Yes. And uh, later on down the road, probably not until early 89, Michael Spinks, which is one that a lot of people are looking forward to. I hope that fight comes off. There seems to be a little controversy about that. Well, I think there's too much money to be made in that one for it not to happen sometime. 
so much money. Tonight they're fighting their hearts out for just expenses. And they're not even paying that. I understand they paid the wrong way in. They're paying their own hotel. And incidentally, the officials here tonight are not getting paid. The referee, the announcer, and the judges. The Holy Angels has yet a long road to hoe. They need somewhere in the neighborhood of three and a half to four million dollars to rebuild the church that burned to the ground. And as of now, Father Clemens says uh, they're in the neighborhood of a million. So there's two and a half or three to go. And this may pay some of the freight. As we said, a good crowd here to watch the World Heavyweight Champion, Mike Tyson, and Foot Tillis. Just past the midway point of round two. Now you see why he, Mike Tyson, wants a quick Tillis and camp with him. And you see, I mean, there's no playing around. I'm not taking it easy. You're not taking it. They're out there really punching and winning. There's the shuffle, the old Ali shuffle. <laughs> the body with two. Oh, with the right hands to the body. Hear it down here, Dan. There's the shuffle, the old Ali shuffle. <laughs> the body with two. Oh, with the right hands to the body. Hear it down here, Dan. Oh, they're getting them out. And incidentally, the promoter. Ernie Terrell, who worked with Father Clement, put together a great show. A lot of good talent on the card. We'll be seeing some more of that talent later on in the show. Craig Bojanowski will yes. fight Al Houck, and uh, we'll look forward to that one. It should be fun. Nice and with a good combination. Tyson's throwing most of the leather here, Ben. I don't yes, think Tillis is getting off very well. Well, that's why... Uh, that's why it's a sparring <laughs> partner, huh? <laughs> that's what I was just going to say. <laughs> but I tell you, he's not hes not leaning over the champion. He's not hes not trying to uh, stop from getting tired. And uh, this is... For an exhibition, this is as good as you'll see anywhere. Mike Tyson, 21 years old. Brooklyn, New York. A troubled youth. And Ben, you know, or knew, I should say, Custom Auto very well. Yes, I do. And their story is a very heartwarming one. Now, Tyson was headed for serious trouble. That's right. And uh, Cust pulled him out of it, turned him around, and uh, I know, although he's not here now, he'd be very proud of uh, the he way sure Mike Tyson was turned out. You know, he had Floyd Patterson, and Floyd Patterson was a problem, too. And it was he, Custy Amato, that took him out of the, I think, a Williamsburg section in, in New York. And he, too, was running around with bad company, turned him into a... It, there was something about Custy Amato that, that immediately gripped you. And uh, he man wound up a two-world champion. Third round, uh, Tyson's trainer, Kevin Rooney, in his corner before the round began. Just tell them to go out and have some fun. See what I enjoy about this, it's not patty cake, patty cake. No, it really isn't. Boy, what a great thing it would be for Chicago to have him come here and fight when something was on the line. Oh. Well, I know, I know the, uh, the next fight is not coming here scheduled for January and he fights Larry Holmes. Yeah, that's in Atlantic City. Then uh, he's talking about making a trip to Japan. He wants to be known as a true world champion and he's not afraid to go outside the U.S. and fight in some exotic places. Same thing that Muhammad Ali did. Hung his title on the line in many foreign countries. Manila, Zaire, there was so many oh. places that the Ali traveled to. And that's partially why he was such a beloved character and he had he had a he had a charisma that everybody loved i, I mean still today you hear that chant Ali, Ali, you, know. you see how big those gloves are oh. i spoke at the wrong time tyson hit him with the left hook 
They must getting off a few punches, too. Yes. They may be 16-ounce gloves, but they'll sting you. If I were James Quintillis, I don't know if I'd want to hit Mike too hard. You know, you wouldn't want to... No, I think that, him up. on the other hand, I think that Tyson would insist, throw your best punches at him. That's how you get in condition. That's how a fighter really gets into condition. Well, January 22nd is not that far off. Just over two months away. Uh, between you and I, I'm not too enthused about uh, Holmes coming back 22 fights. I don't know. From what I've seen of Mike Tyson, I can't see Larry at 38 now having much of a chance against him. Now you notice how he's been avoiding and getting underneath the left hand of, of Tillis. Well, Tyson has proven that he's so... Oh! Another good throw. The left, yeah. the left hand caught Tillis. He's pretty flush there on the head here. We're not playing around, Dan. He's not a big person. He can oh. help him outside, though, and he's devastating inside. 